Hey everybody, let's see if this works. Hi, hi everyone. Hello. Well, I'm live. Can I see anybody? Can I see anyone? Can I see anyone? Hi everybody, hi. Hello. Hello. I'm just gonna let you all have a second to log on. Hello everybody, how are we all? How's everybody doing? Happy Saturday. So. There we go. Comments are good. Hi. Where? I don't see anything. It just says you've joined. Oh. It doesn't say you've done anything. Yeah. I can't see them. Right, we'll do it. Can you just pop it there for me? So I can just see it. Hi everybody. So today, um, I, um, I came in and I was like, yes, turkey. Where is it? No turkey. There's no turkey there. So, all gone. Gone. So, I am going to make um, a chicken curry for you today. Now, as you know, I like to make my meals work for me. So, because I prep a lot of chicken, this also works with the chicken that I'm buying. So, I'm not buying extra things. I'm not going out and I'm having to buy like extra different meats or extra different anything. This is basically like two ingredients if you take out the garlic this is basically two ingredients the rest is done with spices okay now the spices are quite important um because obviously that's what makes it a curry but the reason that i've done a curry today is because i know a lot of you like take out at the weekend so as always i want to make sure that you're staying on track so if you're in that zone of where you're having a curry or a takeout on the weekend that can literally make your calorie count for the week so all of those like extra calories that you've saved up. Can I pop it here or do you need it? Do you need it? Oh. Hi, I'm just getting the comments for you. Oh. Yeah. Have you um have you shared it with everybody you need to? Oh. Is it on the phone? Oh okay. Hi, hello. So I'm just gonna give you all a minute to log on. I'm just getting the comments on my laptop so I can see all of you. Hello, 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 hello. So with me, you have made some meals that I live by. So we made the um, omelette, which was basically done with everything in the fridge that we had left. Um, we've made um, the flapjacks or the granola bars, which are amazing, which you've all made. Protein pancakes, they keep me on track. The things that I try to do are the things I try to make that actually work. They actually are things that I would eat on a regular basis. Now, Take out. Take out is one of the worst. Hello everybody, I can see all of you. Hi, let's see who's on. Kaylee's on, Patrick's on, Belinda's on, Melissa's on. Hi Kirsty. hello. Hello Tony, hello everybody. So, um, take outs are the worst. Now with the conversation that we had the other day, I did tell you that what you do is when you work out in the week, you basically, every single day when you work out, you might be in a deficit. So say let's for example, every single day, you are in a deficit of four or 500 calories. If you go out and have a takeout at the weekend, you can write off that deficit like that. If you're having a few drinks, if you have a glass of wine every night, that's eating into that really important deficit that you want to get rid of. Your fat around your belly, you want to see those abs. So what you need to do is you need to make changes. So when I've showed you, for example, I showed you how to add um, Greek yogurt. So I showed you how to do Greek yogurt and protein mix that together like like what Sean showed me that's an awesome way to keep you off um, feeling like you need some sugar etc um, the protein pancakes live by them so you can have them with oats you can have them with bananas you can have them with I had mine with chocolate protein this morning they were amazing like chocolate pancakes for for dinner for breakfast this morning were the business they were amazing uh, I'm just scrolling down so I can see who's saying things hi hello victoria hi so weekends are here or you have you've got friends coming around uh, maybe i know in canada they have like games nights and things like that and it's really really popular so that's that's here that's happening things do people do that all the time maybe you've got um a family gathering blah 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 when we used to have family gatherings at home we used to make chili and that sort of thing so but what I like to do is I like to make my takeout healthy so this is basically a chicken curry now as I said for those of you that have just come on this is basically three ingredients it's actually two ingredients if you take out the chip it the um, garlic but I like garlic it's really good for you it's really good for your skin it's really good for you like just generally so if you want to add the garlic then you can I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a bit of a confession right now. I've ate this meal millions of times 
I've, I've watched it being cooked millions of times. I've cooked it, never. It's always been cooked for me, or it's like, do you want that chicken curry? Yes, I do. So this is my, one of my staples, but whenever I go to have this meal, it's always <laughs> either my sister's cooking it, or somebody else is cooking it, but it's generally, I buy the ingredients, or so do that, and it's like, oh, should we do curry? Yeah, let's do it. Ingredients are there, job done, and then we'll eat it. But I've never actually physically cooked it, so this is going to be my first time actually doing it. So I'm going to do it off memory, hopefully, and it's going to be awesome. I'm not going to lie to you, I've got Ben here because Ben is a great cook. He's an awesome cook, so Ben's right here. He's going to help me. Um, so shall we get started? Shall we get started? So we're making chicken curry today. It's going to be healthy. This is something you can actually cook. You can save it. You can add it to your meal prep. There's nothing in this that will put that will take you off your um, goal. Nothing. There's absolutely no bad ingredients. This is what I would call a one ingredient meal. So everything in it is made up of one ingredient. There's no, there's nothing bad for you. There's no hidden things that are gonna like make you fat or it's none of that. It's clean as it gets. This is as clean as curry can get. So. I will need to um, make a disclaimer that if you are vegetarian and you don't want chicken, you can actually make this with chickpeas. You can actually do this with vegetables as well, so if you want to do that, you can do that as well. Whew, are we ready? Are we ready for this? Ugh, this is like a proper cooked meal. This is pretty stressful right now. Ben's all over it. Hello everybody. Hi. Hi. So, first things first, I have washed my hands, but I'm just going to wash my hands again. Hi, you Ben? Say hello to the peoples. Ben's here, look. Hi, Studley Ben is here. So, first things first, this is made for like four people. So, I have used four breasts of chicken. So, Ben started. <clears throat> so, can you see? I've made the chicken pieces and I've cut them into tiny little squares. So, here's the chicken. So, if you, if you follow me a lot, you'll see that I eat a lot of chicken. And I just literally put it in a some tin foil, you've seen this on my Instagram and everywhere. So I just put it in some tin foil, smash it, job for good and. Right, so this is how this goes. The first thing we need to do is you need two onions. So just get the onions that's smaller than your race. Small yellow. Small yellow onion. Oh God, he's small. So get two, two onions and we're gonna add some garlic as well. So uh, Ben's gonna do that. So I would add about maybe a tablespoon of garlic, because remember this is for four people. Okay, so all of these are a tablespoon. If you don't want this to be as strong, then take down the um, chilies, okay? But we're gonna add a tablespoon of, of garlic, and we're gonna add two onions to a pan, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Ben's gonna do that, Ben's on it. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna cut up the chicken. So as we know this is organic chicken, but if you want to use chickpeas, if you want to use vegetables, this works with that as well. So we've got garlic and we have got the onions frying in the pan. Now, you're going to fry them, if you're writing this down, I will make sure that I, um, I will make sure that I add this to the video above, so I'll go through all the directions, etc. But you're basically going to need chicken, which I always show you that I use all the time, chicken, tomatoes, onion. That's it. That's as difficult as this is going to get, but it's going to taste amazing because of the spices that we're going to use. So, cut your chicken up. How's it going, Ben? Good. Come in. Come into the zoo. Ben's all over it. Loves it. I was like, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, Ben. He's like, no, I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're cutting up the chicken into just small pieces like this. If you want it a bit thicker, you can have it a bit thicker. So, you're going to fry the onions until they go almost shiny. How's that going, Ben? Awesome. Yes. Yeah, like almost like a translucent. So that's what we're doing right now. So, chicken is all over it. Now, while we're waiting for the onions to fry, what I'm going to have with this is something that I would have with most of my meals. So most of my meals are, um, are based around protein, and they're also based around um, vegetables. So you're going to have some kind of vegetable that's going to be have very fibrous, it's going to work where your carbs are coming from as well. So my favourite is either broccoli or I really enjoy a good Brussels sprout. Now this isn't for everybody, I get that not, not a lot of you are all over the Brussels sprouts, I get it. Um, hello, hello, so I get it. So we're cooking a chicken curry today for those of you that, that don't know. So this is what we've done so far, we've got a tablespoon of, chili, of um, garlic. So we've got a tablespoon of garlic. I've chose the one that's less fat, that's in a, just in a tin. Tablespoon of garlic, 
and the onions are in the pan and you're going to fry them until they're almost like translucent. We've got four chicken breasts. This is for if we're having a party. This is because me and Ben are starving. This is dinner. So we've got four chicken breasts going on and they've, they've been cut into little pieces just like this. So that's going to be there. Now, for the extra that I'm going to have with it, I'm going to have broccoli. Now I know that broccoli, some of you are like, yeah, no, that's not happening. I get it. Not everybody, not broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, I get it. Not all of you want Brussels sprouts, understand it. I love Brussels sprouts. I was brought up on Brussels sprouts, I'm all over Brussels sprouts. If that's not your thing, then maybe you're gonna do uh, broccoli, or maybe you're gonna do what rice. Why don't we have some brown rice going on, or some quinoa? Um, you could do that as well. We're not gonna burn anything, no. <laughs> My chicken curry is absolutely amazing, Natasha. You're gonna love this one. So. What we're going to do is, because obviously you know that I'm not about the faff, this is a rubbish now, <laughs> so I'm not about the faff at all, so we're going to um, basically cut the ends off. Now if you want to buy, I normally at home, because I'm in Canada, obviously I can't find where everything lives, but if I'm at home, I'm not going to lie to you, I just buy the ones that are in a packet, and I basically just put them in the microwave, and you put them in the microwave for like no time at all, but because... I don't know where they sell that particular brand of um, Brussels sprouts around here. All you're going to do is if you're getting fresh Brussels, you take off the leaves from the outside, so the, the darker leaves, and then what you're going to do is you're going to cut a crisscross in the end, just like that. And then you're going to put them in a bowl. And then we're going to wash them. And then I know that you can put them in a bowl to boil them. But I'm just going to microwave them because I'm like, you know, I'm a busy girl. I ain't got time for all this boiling stuff. But you could. We have got time to do it. It's just that if I'm not going to lie to you, that's how I would do it. I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, yes, I make everything from scratch. My, my life is so brief. I've got all the time in the world to boil water and put them in the pan. I haven't. I basically put my brussels in the microwave. My chicken curry is prepped in the fridge, and it's all. And we go, and we go on with our daily lives, like prepping and keeping like life going. That's what that's what it is, right? So I'm using a plate because we've only got one board. That's just how it is. <laughs> rock and roll here. <laughs> we are rock and roll. I love Brussels sprouts. What would you have instead of Brussels sprouts? That's what I want to know. If you're not going to have Brussels sprouts with your curry, what would you have? Like brown rice or quinoa or <gasps> sweet potato? Oh, I love sweet potato. So it's got to be something that's almost fibrous because you want to make sure that you're getting fiber in your um, you're getting fiber in your diet. You're getting greens in your diet. You want to make sure that you're getting. Um, some carbs in there as well so yeah so brussels sprouts and broccoli they kind of tick all the boxes so that's how it's going to roll so yeah just press done so who is on today hi natasha i love sprouts as well hi kinga ben should start his own lives <laughs> if you should start your own lives ben famous it's, it's too much work for me <laughs> <You're still not laughs> i love brussels sprouts i love brussels sprouts so this is how this is going to roll we're going to just keep going at this. How's it going, Ben? How's the onions going? Yeah, so you, the want, you want to make sure it's on medium heat so you don't burn them, because uh, you want them translucent. There you go, medium heat so we don't burn them. Any other advice for cooking onions so uh, they don't make you scrape or cry, as we call it? Definitely make sure that you are always keeping your eye on them, because onions are the first thing to turn on you, uh, especially when cooking a dish like this. You want them to be exactly uh, the way they should be. Watch in this case is translucent, so you gotta keep your eye on them. I shouldn't even have a. Is back there print. any? Can we use any onions, or do we just? I just picked an onion that I knew that I've made this um, before a million times. But does a different onion give a different flavor? Uh, I'd say with uh, the style of cooking we're doing today with curries, uh, white onions, uh, yellow onions, um, red onions generally aren't used uh, um, for stuff like this. Uh, I haven't experienced it. No. So uh, this is definitely more aromatic, more flavorful. We have a curry that's very aromatic, very flavorful. Aromatic. So we're making sure it's matched. Well, that's right. So Brussels sprouts is the order of the day. I don't. So if you're coming around for tea here tonight, we're having chicken curry with Brussels sprouts. Now, if you are a vegetarian or a vegan, I would have taken that into consideration, and I've been making this bad boy with instead of chicken, I've been making it with chickpeas for you. 
I would be taking that into consideration. And you know what you'd say? That's amazing. That curry's amazing, Lise. With cauliflower. Wow. Cauliflower. That's a great idea. There you go. There's another thing. Cauliflower, we could do that. I was actually going to buy some like vegetables and make a stir, uh, actually make a vegetable one, but then I was like, nobody is going to eat that when there's a chicken curry sitting on the side. <laughs> Who wants the vegetable one? <laughs> Definitely not. A house full of boys and there's one vegetable curry on the side of the thing and then everything else is chicken. That one's getting left behind. That would be left for me. So I was like, no, I'll just make a chicken one and tell everybody that you can do it. So how, are we nearly there then, Ben? Uh, so the train's losing or not? Right, so. <laughs> do we add the, the, the tomatoes now or not? No, uh, let's get the spices in. I think I said to add the tomatoes. <gasps> Let's do it. Okay. Do the tomatoes. I'm not tomatoes. Sure. I'm not sure if the tomatoes go next. Or it might go last. Ah! It would make sense if they went now. Okay. Sorry so, we'll, say, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to add. Oh, I need to talk. That's okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Go on. Add them. Add them all. Go on. That's it. So, you're going to add a whole tin of tomatoes. See? Diced tomatoes. Now, Make sure that you get just plain tomatoes because you've got so many other spices in this. I don't want it to get too spicy. So to the onions right now, we've got two onions going on that have been fried down with garlic, with a tablespoon of garlic, and we've got a whole tin of juicy tomatoes. Okay, so that's how this is rolling. I'm going to show it to you in one second. Hello. Sprouts are a bomb. It's so weird when you talk to people that are like fitness people. Anyone else that you would be like, oh, we're doing Brussels. Like, no, that's disgusting. <laughs> but when you talk to fitness people, you're like, oh, I love Brussels. You find, you, find, you find yourself having the most random conversations about vegetables that everyone else in the world hates. Hi, Cass. Hello, Angel. How are you? We're making chicken curry. So, this is the next thing we need to do to this. So these are our Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to get these going. So I want to make sure that they're nice and soft. Because I, I like them a little bit al dente. So they're, how do you like your Brussels sprouts, Ben? Um, completely You soggy. like them soggy, don't you? I love it. It's just Two types of people in this world. Those people that like their vegetables a bit al dente. And then there's those people that like their vegetables to be completely like unflavorful. Now what I like to do when I'm cooking vegetables is I like to leave a tiny bit of water in the bottom of the bowl. I find that it stops them drying out. I find that it keeps them a bit juicy. So now I'm gonna put my gorgeous, look at them. Look at this. This is keeping us on track. You're gonna have this, meal prep it, get it in the fridge. If there's not four people that are joining you for dinner tonight, don't you worry, you've got this for the rest of the week. I'm gonna whack this in the microwave for, I'm just going to keep my eye on it, so I'm going to put it on for five minutes, keep my eye on it, and go from there, okay? So that's what I'm going to do while that's going in here. <gasps> Ben's following me. Wow. Oh, oh Ben, it's, it's a bit wonky then. So, I'm just going to put it in the microwave, shut the door. I know that there's going to be loads of people like, oh, microwaves, they're the, they're the worst. But it's real life. People are, hey, go. so, you know, come over here, Ben. That's lovely. Now, we have got, what we've got going on? I'm going to need you to come over here because I get nervous. That's medium, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Medium to high. So in here, we've got, we've got um, two onions, a tin of tomatoes, a tablespoon of garlic. That's what I'm saying. That's as clean as it gets. Now, this is the bit that you need to make sure that you add in. Already. Can do this back. So... This is where the magic happens. When do we add the chicken? Oh yeah, okay. So this is where the magic happens. So, I can't see. Hi babes. Hi, 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 hi. So you've got, I'm gonna write this down so don't worry, you've got coriander, okay? So you have a tablespoon of coriander. God, I hope this works. It's gonna be fine. A tablespoon of coriander. Now, you've got a tablespoon of cumin. What do you say? I say cumin. Okay. Tablespoon of cumin. Now, if you're not au okay fait with spices, um, 
just go to your bought one and they'll help you if you've got one or go to your local store. A tablespoon of turmeric. This is all this is. It's as easy as this is. So while you're getting ready and this is going on, this is all happening. This is gonna be amazing, she says. <clears throat> We're gonna have to cook the chicken in another that pan. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We'll get that going, shall we? Yes. Do you want to get that going? We'll get that going. So, and then the last but not least, a tablespoon of chili powder. I'm going to move in a minute, then, so. So I like, I like things to be spicy. So this is one of those things that you can hit or miss. So if you don't want the chili powder, you can take the chili powder out, okay? But that's all your spices. There's one more spice that you're gonna need to add at the very end, but you can't add it yet, okay? So, you add them in. Oh my God, it smells amazing already. It looks so good. And the, the spices soak up that juice. Yeah. Perfect. So, oh my God, can you see this? It looks the business. Look at this. This is how we do, this is how we do it. I'm actually quite impressed with <laughs> I'm, having a, I'm having a moment where I'm quite impressed with myself right now. Like, I can't take, I can't take the, what's it for this recipe at all, but um, I'm having a moment where I'm like, this is pretty awesome. Now, so, I'm going to mix this together. Ben's going to honestly take over in a minute to get the stirring going on while I explain all of the different things that we're doing right now. So, can you see how this has almost gone, like a curry colour? Now let me explain to you, I'm always talking about staying on track, I'm always talking about eating foods that are going to make you reach your goal. Let me tell you what's in here. Tomatoes, onion and garlic. That's it. That's all we've got going on. So you are not ruining your diet by having a takeout and this will taste exactly the same. I'm going to bring that over here and I'm going to talk about that and then you can come here and I'll put you in the background. Is that alright? Yeah, I'm going to put it. Oh, we're going to have to clean this kitchen again. That needs so, a close-up, honestly. It's the business, isn't it? Look at this. This is the business. Look at that. This is what I'm saying. Your friends are coming round. You've got a party going on. You're having a cards night. What you, what you get, I tell you what I would have with this. And it's like, I'd have, a, I'm in, back in the day, I'd have a normal potato, but now I've learned. I'd have a sweet potato cut in half, a bit of really good butter, curry, smashed it. That's what I'll be all over. So we're going to add, um, while you're here, Ben, you can add it in. Go on then, do it. So we're going to add the chicken to a different pan because we don't have like two pans and I want to make sure that the chicken is cooked through. So we're going to add those four breasts of chicken to a pan. Okay, nice one. So I want to make sure that this chicken is cooked right through, okay? So I want to make sure that this is cooked all the way through. Medium heat to start, so you're not going to burn it. You're going to need that um, there. Right, so, trying to get it all in. I'm going to need that. So let me explain what's going on right now. We're making chicken curry. We've got Tomatoes, we've got, um, I'll go over the spices in a minute, tomatoes, garlic, um, a tin, a big tin of tomatoes, garlic, and the spices that I'll go over in a second, and that's it, that's all that's going off in here. Chicken is in the other pan, Ben's going to take over that, I'm going to move you around here, so I'm going to put you in the background so we can see everything that's going on. So, is that, yeah. So let me go over the spices again. I will write this down, but if you want to know what spices I've used, I've used a tablespoon of chili powder. This is optional. If you want to use chili powder, this is completely optional. So a um, tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of coriander, a tablespoon of cumin, and a tablespoon of turmeric, okay? Now, there's one last thing, and I can't pronounce it, but Ben can. There's one last, um, spice that you're going to need but we're not going to add it till the very end and it's garam, garam, garam salama 
Garam masala. Garam masala. Garam masala. This is the one that you can actually make from different ingredients, but just go to your walk barn and just find it. That We're going to add a tablespoon of that at the end. So garam masala. Garam masala. I'm going to post it, so don't worry, I'll spell it for you so you can get it. So we're basically making a clean curry. So we've got chicken, we've got tomatoes, we've got garlic, optional. Then you've got all of the, you've got five, five spices in total, including the garam masala, which is going on the end. So that's how that's going to roll. That's it. That's all that's being included in this, and it will be awesome. Okay, so I'm going to check on my Brussels sprouts. How's it going there? Oh, it smells so good. Ah. Brussels are on. Right, so now the Brussels, I'm going to just hold them. They're just getting a little bit soft. That's five minutes with a bit of a tiny bit of water in the bottom of a bowl. I don't want them to go dead, 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 dead soggy. I don't like them dead, dead, dead soggy, although I would eat them regardless. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave them until the curry is nearly ready. And then I'm going to nuke them for the last maybe two, three minutes. And that's going to get them just perfect. Check them out. I like them with a bit of... Um, Pink salt on them. Oh my god. The Himalayan salt. So if you're if you're food prepping, this is probably what you can do on tomorrow, Sunday. Maybe you're gonna food prep and you're gonna make this for your dinner. Because basically it's chicken and veg. It's just adding loads of different spices to make it more exciting. That's all this is. So that's how it's gonna roll. So we've got diced tomatoes. That's the one I used, if you want to use that. I was a bit worried that that the diced tomatoes might be too watery. But looking at it, it's it's looking amazing. But if you want to just have a, maybe a small tin of just the almost like um, like whisk tomatoes, I don't know how to pronounce it. What you can you can strain those. First. Yeah, you can strain them, I guess, as well. So you could do that as well. Yeah. That was a bit. Uh, it reduces on its own uh, any of the, the ju like juice. water or juice that's inside. Yeah. Also, a lot of the spices kind of cook the juice all over as well. So that's going to do that as well. So let's go over to this. And see how this is rolling. How's it going, Ben? Hi, Ben. Whoa. So, we've got in here, we've got tomatoes. Look at this. Tomatoes, onion, and all of those spices, apart from garam, mas garam, garam masala. Garam masala, apart from that one. In here, we've got the chicken rolling on. So, the chicken is being cooked. Now, chicken, very important. As I said to you before, you have to make sure that it's not pink in the middle. Don't make, don't let it get pink in the middle. So if you're prepping, food prepping, you can do some of this chicken with no curry and then some of the chicken with the curry. So you're food prepping for the week and you can save some for your friends and they're going to love you. They're going to think you're awesome. Okay, so oh, how's that rolling? So let me see if there's any questions, Ben, while you're doing that. Mm -hmm. See if there's any questions. Hi. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Turmeric is good for information, I believe. Hmm, there you go. So turmeric's good for information. Hi, Deanna. Deanna's on. Deanna with all the vests and all the shoes in the world is on. Did she have a glass of wine yet? Have you had a glass of wine yet, Deanna? Apparently, that's what I've got to ask you. Apparently, Does she when like you cook, you have to have wine. She oh, says. is that right? Oh, well, I, don't, drink. I don't drink, so cheers yeah. to that. Mm. There's one more thing that you need to add to this. Have we already added um, olive oil to that pan? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you need to add one tablespoon of olive oil to the um, tomatoes. That's what you're going to add. So one tablespoon. What do you think this is? The, yeah, this the pan before the onions. Huh? Oh, yeah, you did, you yeah, did, yeah. yeah. So one tablespoon of olive oil has got to, has added. So let me go over this again if you've just joined us. We are making food prep that works. So I always food prep my chicken. So if you want to do chicken, what we're doing is we're doing our chicken. Just like I showed you. So we're doing our chicken in little dices. So you can rewind this and see it. So the chicken's in little dices in, and that's how that's going to work. Now you can keep that for your food prep for the week and you can just do that with some veg etc etc you can do that what I've done is I've taken the chicken and we're making a chicken curry with like four ingredients so we're adding the chicken we've done the tomatoes just just diced tomatoes nothing in it just dead, as it comes um, a tablespoon of, ch of garlic if you want to add that that's an optional a tablespoon of olive oil which has gone into the tomatoes as well and then the spices we've added are turmeric, coriander, chili powder, and cumin. And then at the end, we're going to add garam masala. Garam masala? 
Garamasala. 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 Gar
You can't say that food that, that you that eating clean is expensive. It's not. You just need to be clever with it. So let's do our challenge today. We're going to do um, a rep challenge. It's going to be reps, and it's going to be quick, and it's going to be spunky, and it's going to just push you. So you're going to add this to your um, your day. I think you're going to enjoy it. I enjoyed it this morning. I did it this morning. So we're going to start. We're going to start with a swing and a lift. So, but you're not swinging completely. All you're going to do is hold and swing, and that's all you're going to do. Now I've got ten. 15, about 21 pounds here. I'm going to put my vest on as well. I'm going to go and get that because I don't want to cheat. Vest pulls. Update again. 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 Tomato to the chicken. That's what we've done. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of the garam masala. Gar garam masala. He didn't really tell me how to say that just then. One tablespoon of that. And that is going to then simmer and it'll be done. So let's get today's challenge done. Ben, you're on that, yeah? Yep. Nice one. This cooking thing is odd with just one person. I don't know if I'd have been able to do that all on my own. Right, so I've put my vest on, so this is our body rock weighted vest, this is going to push you a little bit harder, so make sure you get that on, push it on, push it real good, I'm sorry I didn't check in yesterday when we were filming, but you've got me on a Saturday working like a Trojan, <laughs> you've even got Ben working, putting it in, it's because he's starving, he wants, he wants curry, that's what it is, it's like curry, yeah man. All over it. So we're going to work. We're going to start with the swing and the lift. Now, when you lift, I want you to almost come up and lift to the side. So we're going to work our abs, but you're not going to swing all the way through. It's just a tiny little drop. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Are we ready? Ooh, people are posting things. If you're going to do this, set your timers because it's going to be 30 reps of each. So we've got 30 of these. Yeah, we do 30 reps. I like 30s. Are you up for 30? You ready? Steady? Let's go. So, I've got 21 pounds in here. So you're gonna come up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really squeeze that out, seven. A slight turn on the hips. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, come on, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 5 more, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. This time we turn it round. We come around and down. Let's go. One, two, three. As if you're hitting a piece of wood. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
13, 14, 15, 16. Come on, 20, 21, 22, 26, 27, 29, 30. That's that. Next one. You're gonna, this time, you're gonna come up and you're gonna come over, okay? So that's how this is gonna roll. Let's go. 30 reps, right over, one. And you have to go back a little bit as well, two, three, four, five, six, good job. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, over, make sure it's over your shoulder, 16, you know if you're cheating, 17, because you don't feel it on your abs, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, go up, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, good, good job, that's 30 done, swings for 30, are you ready? Hi Marilyn, wait till you see my chicken curry, you're going to love it, you can make it for Jim, he'll really like it, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Come on, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, let's go, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, ten more, come on, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, come on, Four, three, two, last one. Oh, ready? Whew. Nearly there. We are four minutes in, a couple more rounds. These are to add to your daily workout as a bonus. So this time, you're gonna pick up the weight. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, come on, seven, shush, tighten this a bit, shush, nine, ten, come on, eleven, twelve, Whew. come on, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 15 more, go, 16, 17, 18, good job, come on, 19, 20, 10 more, this is not easy, I'm trying to get you to practice different moves to get you ready for the next challenges, so these moves that I'm doing, these big moves, they make your heart rate so high and they feel full body. It's 22 pounds, 22 pounds ish, and six pound best. Let's go, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, shush kids, five, four. Ready? Three. Two, last one, in the middle of them two, we're going to add a shoulder press, okay, so before we go on to the other side, let's go shoulder press, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, come on, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, go, 22, 23, 24, 
29, one more, 30, shush kids. There's a dog in the other apartment and it makes my dogs. Okay, next, 30, all the wrong, let's go. Whew. Come on, you go challenge you, it won't change you, so if you're out of breath, good. If it's pushing you, good. Let's go. One, two, three, good. Why this keeps coming loose? Maybe I'm not tightening it up enough. Four, that's better. Five, six, seven, eight, come on. One fluid movement, so if you're tired, get a break. 13, better. 14. 15, halfway. Any questions, man? Five. Four. Three. Come on. Two, come on. Ten more this side. It's getting tough now. It should be getting tough. It should be getting hard. Ten more this side. It's probably going to take you about 10, 12 minutes today to finish these, but you're going to get it done. Let's go. Ten. Should be one fluid movement. Nine. Eight. Diana says she heard your voice Seven. when she was working out Six. today. Push her to go. Five. Good. Four, three, two more, two, that's one, good job, okay, one more, and then we're done, I'm on, 9.43, so one more, are you ready, I know you're ready, looks amazing, yes, dude, one more, we're done, oh, right, right, let's go, one, Two, three, let's go. Four, elbows high. Five, bottom under. Six, seven, eight, come on. Nine, ten, go. Eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, come on. Nineteen, uh, twenty, keep your form. Don't lose it. 21, 22, 23, good job. 24, 25, let's go. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, job done. Awesome job, upper body and abs, smashed. 10.52 is my time. That's it, that's your bonus to put onto the end of your workout today. I've got 22 pounds on my six pound vest. That's your 10 minute bonus, you're gonna add that to your workout today. Push yourself as hard as you can, it's all about the weight. So, very quickly, let's go back over to the food. Let's do it. So, let's have a recap of what we've done. Shall we, Ben? Because yeah. it's quite confusing. <laughs> Studley Ben, everyone! Right, so here's how this rolls. We started off with, Ben, John, take it? Take it. Started off with onions diced very finely. If you want two small yellow onions. Yes. White onions work. I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. Yes. I have that double fact check. You put olive oil in a pan, one tablespoon. Uh, let the pan heat up to medium heat. Then you add your onions. Cook onions uh, and one tablespoon of garlic until it is... If you uh, want to. You don't have to add the garlic, yeah. but I would definitely do it. You cook until uh, the onions are translucent, and that's when you add your beautiful... Tomatoes! Canned tomatoes. Tomatoes or tomatoes or whatever you say. So we talked about uh, you can strain your tomatoes if you want. I like leaving them in because it, it'll be less dry, uh, especially with chicken, when you cook chicken. Yeah. Um, and then, so then we left that for a minute or so, did we? Yep, yep. yep. And then we added... The spices, the first set of spices, which were 
Go for it, Ben. Turmeric. Or turmeric. Turmeric, yep. Coriander. Yep. Chili powder. Yep. And cumin. Did you add the last spice to this? I have not. Oh, let's do it. So coriander is fennel, right? Someone is fennel seed. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's fennel seed crushed up. So let's get this in here. So the last thing, then we added the chicken to the tomato. Well, then we cooked the chicken um, to make sure that it was cooked through, right? Mm -hmm. Then we added the chicken to the tomatoes and everything else that we've just talked about. And then the last thing, no, you can do. Then the last thing we need to add is the last spice is. Garam masala. Garam masala? Garam masala. Garam masala. That's and it's, it's a tablespoon of that. So, so it smells like uh, ginger. It smells like ginger. Uh, maybe a little amazing. bit of cinnamon. So it's just it's, it's like loads of different things. You can actually make this yourself if you can't oh. find it. If you Google it, I got the recipe of how to make it. I saw the 12 ingredients. I was like, <laughs> no, need to find it. So yeah, so we add that, so, add it, mix it in. Then you're going to leave it for as long as it takes for the tomatoes to almost reduce down. As with all curries, the longer you can leave this, so if you make it in the morning, if you've got a night thing going on, as with all curries, if you make it and leave it to like soak through to the meat the next day, amazing. Oh. Curries overnight, oh my God. Now, I'm having mine with something that's green because I always try to eat green foods. I'm gonna have it with green and also fibrous it's really good for you again this is going to be an awesome food prep so if you're making this for yourself we had four chicken breasts in this so that's for that now what i did is i i normally i'm not going to lie to you i buy the packet brussels sprouts and then i just whack it in the microwave when i get in from work and all the chicken is already made in the fridge but i always do my best just whack it in the microwave and that's ready and then i can just have a shower after the after my workout and go to bed one one morning Make sure you have a big pan. Yeah, make sure you have a big pan. We haven't really got a lot of anything here. Workouts, brilliant. Cooking, not so good. Um, so what I did is I got fresh Brussels sprouts, cut the ends off, took the dark, my, the dog, the kids are playing, took the dark um, leaves off the top, put an X in the bottom, and then I put them in a bowl, a small bit of water, put them in the microwave for five minutes, and then I left them. So now this is almost ready. What I'm gonna do is put them in the microwave for just that last like two minutes just to get them warm and just soften them up to the last minute and they're gonna be perfect. Now, as I said before, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you can make this with chickpeas. You can make this exact recipe with chickpeas or vegetables or anything like that. So this is a perfect, cheap meal that's gonna A, keep you on track, B, it's awesome for you. There's loads of good stuff in here. Tomatoes, chicken, garlic, what's not to love? Um, or if you want to like make a meal for friends etc it's something that's really cheap you just buy four chicken breasts and then some um, some um, chickpeas if somebody is vegetarian and you can make the same sauce go to the same meal for different people so it's really quick it's really easy and I even did a workout while it was cooking okay Ben was here but if I was a better cook and I cooked a lot I probably would have been able to cook in between and even do my workout in between I'm going to put these in the microwave for the last minute and a bit. Because that's going to be all there. We're not going to this away. <laughs> right, I'm not going to show it yet because I want to have the big finale. So I'm going to make a list of everything that I've used, but it's basically like three ingredients, which is what we're talking about. Trying to keep on track, trying to keep it cheap, trying to keep it easy now i don't add salt or pepper to any of my foods however if you want to add some salt and pepper please feel free to do that you can do it either while it's cooking if you want to taste it either while it's cooking or you can do it um after i don't i it's not something that i i usually add i'm not really a salt person but if you want to do that that's absolutely fine i would recommend that you use the um pink salt himalayan salt it's better for you. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So we're gonna do the Brussels. You having some, Ben? Oh yeah. Oh yes. Brussels are in. So if you've got any questions about this today, it's red. Get it. All over it. So, Brussels. Cracking, that's what I'm saying. Look at these bad boys. We'll just do a bit. We'll just have a bit, shall we, Ben? We won't have a big meal, but we'll just have a bit. 
We have to save some. We'll just have a bit. We won't have a lot, but we'll just have a bit. Because we'll, we'll probably be going out. Cause it's, it is Freddy's birthday, so we'll probably go down. Right, so check this out. Now, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Sean. So, we're just going to put... Don't wash it. This is the big finale now. It's not fair yet. Look at this. Seriously, though. Seriously, though. Seriously. Listen to what I'm saying. Chicken, tomatoes, garlic and spices. Don't tell me that doesn't look good. Don't tell me that that does not look epic. It looks amazing. So, that's it. All over it. So we've got in here, we've got chicken, we've got onions, we've got tomatoes, and then we've got spices and that's it. So this is a meal that A, is going to keep you on track, it, B, it's going to be awesome for all your friends if you do parties or anything like that, and it's brilliant for your meal prep. So if you just want a different idea of what to do with your chicken, I feel like, I know this sounds stupid, but I feel like I should get Ben to actually physically try it on camera and see if he can do the, mmm, this tastes amazing thing. Try it, Ben. I haven't, I, I, I don't know, I, I, we haven't tried it all the way through. We've just kind of done well, it. I've had a little taste, but I, I haven't had it with... Don't without. lie, though. People know if you're lying. People know if you're lying. Is it good? How good is it? Oh, my God. Yes! No, I'm a big... I don't know if I, anyone else that out there really loves salt. I put salt on everything. There is no salt added to this, and I'm totally fine with it. It tastes so good. Lisa's doing her happy dance, but... They do. Wow. We've never made it before. Only ever had it and brought the ingredients for other people and they've made it. But we've made a chicken curry right there that's going to keep you on track this weekend. So if it's your curry night tonight, no. Get the chicken that you're going to do with your meal prep and this is your curry. This is how we're rolling tonight. This is what it's all about. This is keeping you on track. So no more pizza. No more Indian. No more breaking those diets. We are staying on track and this is going to keep you on track. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I even did a bit of a workout for you in the middle. So I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'm going to see you at 3 o'clock on Monday. I'm going to eat my brutal sprouts, which taste amazing, by the way. Mm. It's a little bit warm in the middle. Mm -hmm. A bit hot in the middle. A little sprout regret. I'm going to my own cooking show. Can't. <laughs> okay, so that's that. I'm going to see you on Monday. Thank you. I'm going to show you this once more so you can just... You can just take in all the glory that is just basically three ingredients. It right smells there. way better than it looks, too. It looks amazing. What are you talking about? It smells that. even better. If you take that to work on Monday, A, people will hate you because you smell everywhere else, but they will be like, that looks amazing. So, no more cheating. That's how it's rolling. High fives, everyone. Bye. Say bye, Ben. <laughs>